hope you guys are doing well. This is your love reading from November 27th through December 3rd. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates, awesome. Let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, check your other signs. If you don't know them, just do a birth chart. Super simple to find out. Remember, you guys, last couple readings were pretty shitty, so hopefully things have gotten better. Okay. guys three out of five are major arcana um, just wanted to point that out so this is a big week for you lots of divine intervention um all right so your overall is karma reverse this is also judgment card in the gilda deck any other deck whatever so it, this may be a karmic relationship, karmic situationship, whatever it is. It might be karmic, so you're probably going through some serious shit in it. Um, but it's for your growth. Try to keep that in mind. Um, you may be dealing with some shit because of some past karma that you have that needs resolved. And it may not even be from this lifetime. It may not be something that you even have any idea about right now. Um, but... Something is coming up to be judged, and it doesn't feel like it's going in your favor. Sorry, guys. Hopefully it gets better. <laughs> um, either way, <coughs> that's your overall. Now, your recent past is the lovers. This is your card, guys. So to come up in your own reading is pretty awesome. All right? That's you being in your power. Um, obviously, the lovers, too, it's... It's a union. It's balanced. It's harmony. All that good shit. That was in your past. Your present, you have the Five of Wands. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. May mean something to you. Doesn't have to. But this is battle. It's petty. Um, it's competition. You may feel like you have to fight other people. Like you have to fight over the person that you're with. You know, there might be like jealousy stupid petty arguments it's all it's all dumb like this isn't major conflict it's just it's just annoying it's shit that no one needs right now in your immediate future you have a seven of cups this is water energy cancer scorpio pisces may mean something may not but this is a fantasy card this is being a little delusional you know kind of living in a fantasy world um it may also mean that you or the other person has a lot of options. Either way, it's the need to bring your thoughts, your ideas down to the material world and see things for what they are. It's, it can be an also it can be also confusing energy. Like you or the other person is confused, you don't have clarity. Now your outcome, you have the world reverse. This is not closing out a cycle that needs to be closed out. It's you're trying to hold on to something that is already over with. Um, or if it's not you trying to hold on to something that needs to end, it is this, this reverse karma up here at the top, remember? So it's reviewing a situation that should be closed out, but it isn't. Okay, so there's something going on here, something coming back up to be looked at again to see if anything was missed um, before it can fully close out. The karma in the situation has to be resolved. All right, let's clarify karma for you. What is this all about? Okay. <laughs> Clarify the lovers. I don't generally clarify past cards, but when they're majors, sometimes I do. All right, clarify the five of wands for Gemini. What's this conflict about? 
Okay. You're not the only one that had that card. I'll explain that then. Um, clarify the Seven of Cups for Gemini in their future. Clarify the world for Gemini in their outcome. Oh, jeez. All right, let's get one more advice card. And then I'll let you know what these all are. Okay. All right, guys. <coughs> Your karma reverse up here, right? This karmic situation, this shit coming back up for review. It's clarified by the Hierophant. All right, this is a Taurus card, so you could have some karma with a Taurus that you need to resolve. Otherwise, um, this could be commitment. It could be marriage. You could be going through a divorce and feel like you're being treated unfairly, like judgment isn't coming out in your favor. Um, this could also be you consulting, you know, spiritual advisors, whatever it is, whatever your beliefs are on how to deal with this situation. Um, I think though, I think it has to do with commitment, possibly marriage and whatever it was, was karmic. Um, and as soon as you resolve the karma in this, this commitment, whatever it is for you, you'll be able to let it go. All right, now to clarify the lovers over here, right? You, in the past, you have the Four of Pentacles. This is somebody holding back. It, it's kind of a selfish energy, but it's because this person is scared, you know, somebody's gonna take off with his pentacles or something, so he has to hold on really tight. So it's either, you know, holding on to something real tight, maybe holding on to that connection real tight, or holding back, holding back whatever it is for you, your emotions, your thoughts, your money, <laughs> whatever it is. All right, also that is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, for your Five of Wands here, the Petty Battle competition card, you have the Chariot Reverse. This is Cancer energy if you're dealing with a with a Cancer, but Reverse, it's, it's lack of forward movement. You're feeling stuck, you're feeling blocked, you can't go anywhere um, because there's too much, there's too much arguing. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, somebody else had this same card reverse. I think it was Aries. So if you have Aries in your chart or you're dealing with Aries, with an Aries, you might want to check out their reading because I'm pretty sure they had this in the exact same position reversed as well. So anyway, you're feeling blocked. You're feeling like you can't move forward because of this arguing. And if the person that you are dealing with is at a distance, you may have to travel to see them. There's delay, a delay in travel, right? Now for your seven of cups over here, right? The confused fantasy world card. You have the six of wands reverse. This is lack of victory. Also fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is lack of victory. You're feeling like you're not winning this situation. You're not coming out on top and you're really not because with karma reverse, it's not going in your favor. Um, may have something to do with something you know nothing about. Um, <coughs> so, this is also lack of confidence. Um, lack of confidence, maybe because you weren't seeing the situation clearly, you were confused, and it has you feeling, you know, really bad about yourself because you weren't seeing it for what it was. All right, now to clarify the world down here, the world reversed, that you're not closing out a cycle that should have ended already, you have judgment reversed again. This is the same card as the karma card up here at the top reversed. You have it twice reversed, that's major, all right? Something is not closing out, it's still there being looked at again because it's a karmic situation and once again, once that karma is dealt with, once you and the other person have learned what you need to learn in that situation, then the cycle can close out. All right, now your advice, guys. Oh, your advice is nice, all right? So your advice, the Wheel of Fortune. 
This is go with the flow, trust the universe, all right? Life moves in cycles. Just because you're down now doesn't mean that you're always gonna be, okay? The wheel keeps turning. You could be down right now, which obviously you are, but you're gonna come back up. You just have to trust the universe. Trust that this is fate, it's destiny, and that's how it works when things are karmic like this. So you just have to trust the universe. Know that it is going to come back up. You just have to go with the flow. All right? Don't resist. Now look at this, guys. Two of Cups. This is a soulmate card. So your advice. Go with the universe. All right? Oh, my gosh. There's my dog scratching at the door. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, I was almost done anyway. Your advice, go with the flow. Um, pay attention to any signs that you're getting from the universe because it's pushing you towards your soulmate, okay? Once you resolve this karma with this situation that you're in right now, the universe is pushing you towards your soulmate. So don't try to hold on to this shit back here, right? It's not where you're supposed to be. It was just karmic, okay? All right, talk to you guys later.